in ASCO 2023, we heard the results of the Adora study uh, with the final overall survival data uh, being released. We had previously heard in 2020 the disease-free survival data from this study, and so this is the uh, the overall survival update, uh, which was uh, presented in the plenary session. The Adora study uh, sought to investigate adjuvant osimertinib in patients with resected uh, stage 1 to stage 3 non-small cell lung cancer. Now, the staging has changed uh, since the, the, the study uh, was initially designed, um, but uh, by today's staging, it would be stage 2 and stage 3 um, non-small cell lung cancer that has been resected. The ADORA study focused on a particular subset of patients that ha- that whose tumours harboured an EGFR mutation. Uh, and patients um, who had the two commonest mutations, that they are called uh, exon-19 deletions and L858R mutations, uh, were randomly assigned to either receive osimertinib, which is a targeted therapy directed against the EGFR mutation, or placebo. Patients were randomised after their surgery and completion of adjuvant chemotherapy. It is important to notice how to note, however, that uh, the use of adjuvant chemotherapy was not mandated, but uh, most patients uh, that had stage two and stage three disease did actually receive adjuvant chemotherapy. The treatment was three years of adjuvant osimertinib or placebo. In terms of disease-free survival, uh, in 2020, we learned that there was a very significant uh, improvement in disease-free survival. Um, the, the hazard ratio um, for uh, disease-free survival was very strong at um, point, uh, 0.2 um, for stage 1B to stage 3A. And when we updated this uh, in 2023, this hazard ratio still remained quite strong. Um, but had changed slightly um, to 0.27. So here we learnt about the overall survival results, um, and we now know that there is a um, a 50% reduction in death using osimertinib um, compared to placebo. Um, So patients who received uh, uh, osimertinib uh, compared to placebo, the the hazard ratio was 0.49. So this is is very... um, very strong data. We think it's uh, it's practice changing. Um, it already has changed practice uh, in uh, some jurisdictions, mainly because osimertinib has really good CNS penetration. And we knew uh, from our previous presentations that the rates of CNS metastases were reduced significantly by using osimertinib. And many uh, clinicians adopted to use it just given that that the morbidity associated with CNS metastasis was significantly reduced. Um, but now is the first time a uh, adjuvant um, TKI has shown an overall survival uh, improvement. Um, as I said, the hazard ratio was 0.49, and this was highly statistically significant um, p-value um, less than 0.0001. Um, that was in the overall population, and Somewhat surprisingly for me, this hazard ratio was maintained in the key population of stage um, uh, stage two and stage three A. Um, that the, these the, this is where the study was focused on. The hazard ratio was still 0.49 um, uh, in both stage two, um, but also when you included stage one. We presented um, further data on um, the use of uh, adjuvant chemotherapy or not. It does not really seem to be much difference in uh, patients who received adjuvant chemotherapy compared to those who didn't, um, provided um, you received osimertinib in the the adjuvant context. The other key question is what about toxicity? Uh, And interestingly, um, most toxicity from, you know, this is a treatment that lasts for three years. Most toxicity really occurred um, within the first 12 months. Um, and the commonest side effects um, were still diarrhea and rash. Um, in terms of uh, discontinuations, um, uh, there was the, the the rate of discontinuations was thirteen percent, so it's not particularly high. 
there was a, a reasonable rate of uh, dose interruption. So 27% of patients uh, interrupted uh, treatment. But as I said, the, the actual uh, rate of um, uh, discontinuation was, was slow. Um, so I think, you know, the, the summary from Adora is uh, that patients who have resected um, now stage two and three disease um, who have tumours that harbour an EGFR mutation should really uh, be considered for adjuvant osimertinib uh, usually after they've completed uh, chemotherapy. That is certainly the majority of patients in the Adora study that fit that. Um, but um, whether you did or did not receive chemotherapy didn't seem to make a big difference uh, in this study in terms of overall survival. And this is the first study in this setting uh, to really show this. We therefore feel that it's practice changing. Mm -hmm.